Long ago, there was a very poor boy who was very intelligent, kind, and polite. He also had a gift of knowing the language of the birds and understanding their conversations. The boy discovered a quiet place to practice his religion, but unfortunately, his dream was deterred. In order to survive, he had to move in with a rich owner. And worked as a merchant. One day, he and his owner stopped underneath a big tree to rest and eat lunch. Suddenly, out of nowhere, a group of black ravens flew by and landed on top of the tree. And cried loudly. The boy heard the black raven's cries, but did not do anything. Instead, he just sat there and laughed. <laughs> the owner became suspicious, but he did not say anything. When night came, the owner called the boy out to ask about the situation which occurred that noon. Why were you laughing when you heard the black raven's cry? The boy truthfully answered, "Yes, sir. Because I've learned some magic power." I understood what the ravens were crying about. They were so hungry and wondered how they could eat you. They told me to kill you by first stealing the precious stone in your pocket, and then afterwards they would eat you. After hearing the boy, the owner was scared, but knowing that the boy was honest, he bravely asked, "Why didn't you take the precious stone in my pocket to become a rich person?" The boy immediately responded, "Dear sir." Jewelry and money belonging to you are not what I worked for or earned. Killing a person to steal his property is not a good deed. Moreover, you have helped me so much. How can I, because of envy, forget the meaning and loyalty of our relationship? The owner was very pleased after hearing the boy's response. From that day forward, the owner took good care of the boy as if he was his own brother, and provided the boy with whatever he needed. The boy was one of Buddha's previous life.